So we're gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. So good morning. Good morning, good morning Father. Father. So the uh, <clears throat> uh, so welcome uh, to the celebration of the third Sunday of Advent. And so we light the uh, pink candle today, the third one. Uh, we light that one because it's uh, Gaudate Sunday, uh, which means rejoice. And um, so we're rejoicing because the Lord is so near. And uh, so it was uh, tr uh, traditional um, in the church that uh, the, um, the psalm was always rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And so, uh, and this morning we've been asked to pray for uh, William Crafts, a young man who uh, recently died. And so let us ask the Lord to listen to all the prayers in our hearts today. Lord, we have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Christ, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, grant us your salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Well, let God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Lord God, may we, your people, who look forward to the birthday of Christ, experience the joy of salvation, and celebrate the feast with love and thanksgiving. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The sovereign Lord has filled me with his spirit. He has chosen me and sent me to bring good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to announce relief to captives and freedom to those in prison. He has sent me to proclaim that the time has come when the Lord will save his people and defeat their enemies. Jerusalem rejoices because of what the Lord has done. She is like a bride dressed for her wedding. God has closed her with salvation and victory. As surely as seeds sprout and grow, the sovereign Lord will save his people and all the nations will praise him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, my soul rejoices in my God. My, my soul, soul rejoices, rejoices in my God. God. Mary said, <clears throat> my heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God my Savior, for he has remembered me, his lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. My soul rejoices in my God. His name is holy. From one generation to another, he shows mercy to those who honor him. My soul rejoices in my God. He has filled the hungry and good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has kept the promise he made to our ancestors and has come to the help of his servant Israel. My soul rejoices in my God. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Be joyful always, pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life in union with Christ Jesus. Do not restrain the Holy Spirit. Do not despise inspired messages. Put all things to the test. Keep what is good and avoid every kind of evil. May the God who gives us peace make you holy in every way and keep your whole being, spirit, soul, and body free from every fault at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you will do it because he is faithful. 
the word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you, what are you then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you, what do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent, he asked them, why then do you baptize? If you are not the Christ, Elijah, or a prophet, John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened at Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So I hope you had uh, your uh, locusts and wild honey for breakfast this morning, so, like John the Baptist. <laughs> so the uh, so we're in the time of rejoicing uh, because the Lord is very close to us. He's coming, and now He's very near. And so this is Gadate Sunday, uh, which is means rejoice that we're rejoicing that He is so close to us. The, um, and that gives us a glad confidence. So <clears throat> the coming of the Messiah is a great event uh, for all humanity. And the, um, <clears throat> and the thought of that gives us great joy. Uh, why? Because he's going to reconcile us with the Father and draw us into God's love. He's going to open the door uh, to Eden for us. The, um, the door that was closed after Adam and Eve. And uh, so the, um, the first preaching in, um, uh, by Paul and people like that was uh, through one man, Adam, sin came into the world, but through another man, uh, Jesus, then salvation came to the world. And uh, so the, um, and the, uh, the description of Genesis uh, there, the Garden of Eden, is what we're going to, not what we're coming from. That's the uh, and what uh, what it's describing is um, the Garden of Eden, the uh, where God is at, uh, totally at ease with humans, and humans are totally at ease with each other and God, the uh, perfect relationship, and that's what we're being called to. That's what the uh, so heaven is the new Eden. It's um, where our relationships with each other and with God are all in perfect harmony, as they were the, uh, described in uh, Genesis. And uh, so, the, um, so John, uh, he uh, symbolically, uh, he placed himself in the desert, because with God, without God living with us, uh, we're in a barren land. And so the desert is a barren land. And so John purposely uh, established himself on the edge of the desert there because it's, uh, uh, it's barren.
but when the Lord comes, even the desert will flower. And uh, so the, um, <clears throat> and so John came to prepare the way of the Lord. And so the way is, uh, uh, it's an important uh, phrase. Um, so he came to prepare the way of the Lord for, and the Lord is going to show us the way to the Father. And uh, in, before Christians were known as Christians, they were known as the way. Because uh, the way is following in the footsteps of Jesus. And so John came to prepare us and uh, told us that to prepare for that, we need to change our lives. And so, the, um, so John is preparing the way, the way that uh, Jesus will lead us as well and so the um, so the way is following behind Jesus uh, following behind him onto the way the that leads to the Father and that's the ultimate joy the ultimate rejoicing in the world is when we are uh, united with the Father reconciled to him but we're also called the uh, on the way to be cognizant of uh, our fellow travellers, especially the weak and the struggling. We're uh, asked to look after them and help them in their struggles. We're called to be Sire, Simon of Cyrene, that, uh, to uh, give a, a helping hand, just as Simon helped Jesus in his struggles on his way to cavalry. The, uh, so we help the, um, our fellow travellers in their struggles as well. So we're called to do that. And, uh, so, and so how do we help people? And it's by living the gospel, living the gospel in our lives. Because for many people, it's the only gospel they're ever going to see. And so, the, uh, so if we follow the way of the Lord, and uh, the, we're uh, helping our fellow people, then it's like what uh, converted the Romans. The Romans were converted by the way Christians led their lives and the phrase that they used was see how they love one another and that's what converted the Romans to Christianity is the way that Christians love one another and that's what we're, we're called to the, um, is to help out each other and to love one another and that's the best way to prepare for the coming of Christ in our lives. And so let us pray now. <coughs> the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, who will be celebrating his 84th birthday next week on December 17th, may God bless him with continued good health and energy to reform and renew our church, we pray. Lord, hear us. On this Gaudete Sunday, we rejoice that we have been blessed as children of God and thank Him for the many gifts He has bestowed on us, our families, and our community, we pray. Lord, hear us. For world leaders, that the Prince of Peace, who came to bring glad tidings to the poor, to release prisoners, and to heal the brokenhearted, may instruct their hearts in his ways, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord. For all who are held captive, whether by economic situations, lack of education, or by addiction, may God free them and open new opportunities for life, growth, and wholeness, we pray. Lord, Lord. For our retired priests and nuns, May they live in peace and security with the consoling knowledge of our deep gratitude, we pray. Lord, hear us. For the sick, may God grant them health, strength to those who care for them, and comfort for their families, especially Yolanda Romero Valdez, John Padilla, Armand, and Patricia Vincent, we pray. Lord, hear us. For our departed loved ones, may they rejoice in the gift of eternal rest and everlasting life, especially Brian McNerney, Cindy Thibodeau, and Ray Alba. 
we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us ask the Lord now to listen to all our prayers. Father, we offer you these prayers and all the prayers in our hearts through the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands of may, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. And let us pray. Lord, may the gifts we offer in faith and love be a continual sacrifice in your honour and truly become the Eucharist of our salvation. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. Spirit. and let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. When he humbled himself to come among us as a man, he fulfilled the plan you formed long ago and opened for us the way to salvation. Now we watch for the day, hoping that the salvation promised us will be ours when Christ our Lord will come again in his glory. And so with all the choirs of heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son, through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church. Watch over it, Lord, and guide it. Grant it peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and for all who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people here on earth, especially those for whom we now pray. Remember all of us gathered here before you, you know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. And in union with the whole church, we honour Mary, the ever-Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. We honour Joseph, her husband, the Apostles, the Martyrs, Peter, Paul, Andrew and all the saints. May their merits and prayers gain us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life. Save us from final damnation and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering, make it acceptable to you, an offering in spirit and truth, and let it become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he suffered, he took bread in his sacred hands, and looking up to heaven to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer to you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favour on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted, the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then, as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness and peace. For ourselves too we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him you give us all these gifts, you fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties. Wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So, peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, may this Eucharist bring us your divine help, free us from our sins, and prepare us for the birthday of our Saviour, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. So uh, Pat uh, he was preparing for Christmas and he said to the wife, he says, uh, what would you like for Christmas? And she says, anything with diamonds in it. So he bought her a deck of cards. <laughs> So, let us ask the Lord to bless us now and be with us. And so, uh, today we have a special blessing. It's um, one of those three Amen. Uh, 
blessings. So four, four a.m. Uh, amen. So let us bow our heads and ask for God's blessing. You believe that the Son of God once came to us and look for him to come again. May his coming bring you the light of his holiness and his blessing bring you his freedom. Amen. Amen. God, make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope and untiring in love all the days of your life. Amen. Amen. You rejoice that your Redeemer came to live us, live among us. When he comes again in glory, may he reward you with endless life. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.